on our way to attempt the first ascent of uh, ice climbing up the Monkman Cascades. So we, got, we have a uh, absolutely beautiful sunrise right now. This one's for Kevin. Look at all these synclines and anticlines. Well, we're at the confluence of the Murray River and the Monkman Creek. Those boys are going up Monkman Creek. That's where we're heading now. And just down there is the suspension bridge that you would cross uh, when you're hiking in the summer to the Cascades. So there's lots of open water. Hopefully we don't get shut down, but all of us are thinking that we will be. So here we go. We got this beautiful view of Castle Mountain about 100 meters up from the Murray River on Monkman Creek. It's about 14 kilometers to go until the Cascades. kilometer 14 or 15 on the way into the Cascades. We're going to see what Moore Falls and Brooks Falls are like for ice climbing. Well yesterday was a pretty tough day. We had a lot of pulling our pulks through the bush. Because um, as you can see there's lots of open water. But day two no pulk, just a backpack. It's a good day. And look at this view. Mount Watts up there in the distance, just below the sun. We're walking along a bit of an opening in Monkman Creek, en route to Upper and Lower Moore Falls. Well, we got a stunning view of Castle Mountain. We've got one canyon to go before we hit the bottom of Lower Moor Falls. Very pretty in here. Well, we're on day number three. We're going to just below Lower Moor Falls. There's some nice seeps that the boys want to ice climb. Um, the Cascades, they're all wide open, just like down here. So we aren't able to ice climb any of them, but um, at least we'll make it worth the trip and do some ice climbing on the seep. Um, we had a good night last night, good day yesterday, actually. It was a lot better than our first day, which was a suffer fest, but anyway. Well, we just had to stop to shed a layer. It started out warm, and then as we go well, five, 10 minutes into the hike, got too warm, had to shed a layer. Craig Waters has a friend named Melissa Faulkner. She has a saying, it's uh, be bold, start cold. 
some advice I should have taken today, but I didn't. So anyways, shed it a layer, we're on our way again. Well, we're at the top of what we think might be cascade number 10. We're not 100% sure, but we're for sure below Moore Falls, which is up there around two corners. This is the one that the boys climbed up yesterday. And they climbed up the outside of that beautiful thing. It's completely hollow, absolutely crazy. Well, the trip is near complete. Now we're heading back. We got about 15 kilometers to go to the trailhead. Ryan's super happy. He has to pull his pulk. And that's the fun of pulling a pulk. He likes to tip over. Well, that last 400 meter section was pretty rough, especially on the way in. We were pretty burned out from a pretty tough day slogging through here. But uh, the boys are repacking their pulks to make the trip back a little bit easier. There's Castle Mountain in the clouds. Looks like it's received quite a bit of snow since we've been here. But then again, it's rained quite a bit. So much open water. So what I've got here, I've got my backpack and I attach these, these poles they attach to my backpack. Then I got the pulk here. And this box is where my drone's living. It was insulated, so I kept it nice and warm while I was here. Got some food in there, some clothing. It's definitely lighter and easier to manage than on the way in. This is where the hiking trail is that you would use in the summer. You have a really nice view of this lake down here. It's a very beautiful view. But we're down here on the ice. And it's lovely. Lovely walking. This has been what a lot of the trail has been like since there's so much open water. We gotta go through the bush. On the way in, our pulks were so top heavy, Jesse and I, that they were falling all over the place, just added to our frustration. <laughs> Steve and Pete went up that way on the left-hand side, and then it looks like they snowshoed back and wrote us a note that says not to go the way they went, so. It's pretty kind of them to come all the way back and give us a, a nice course to go. Thanks guys. I think the face says it all. That's where Steve and Pete went over. That looks pretty terrible. It's pretty cool seeing all these animal tracks. We've got a wolf here, a little marten or a squirrel here. Conditions on the ice are going downhill pretty quickly. There's lots of open water. We're about to go into a big canyon here. We had some troubles on the way in, and I don't think it'll be much fun on the way out, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let's try. 
crossed right here on the way in. Looks like it's a little bit tougher for us. Maybe we can figure out a way to get the hulks across safely. I think we've got four strapping young lads that are able to help us out. Now we just got to go down there. Got another kilometer or two until we can take a break at where the Monkman Creek and the Murray River meet. It's a nice place for a, a snack. Craig decided to strap on his skis, make it a little bit easier. This last seven kilometers is going to be really easy as it was on the way up. The rock wall is called Springside Slab. And we put maybe two roots up on it, but it's 700 meters long. And I definitely got a couple of two pitch roots on it. And made it to the Imperial Creek Bridge. We got a very short distance to go, maybe a kilometer at the most. Well, that just about does it for our trip to the Monkman Cascades. Huge thanks to Craig, Jesse, Ryan, Steve, Peter, uh, for Gerald for picking us up, and to Thomas for driving us out here. Also thanks to Marie Christine and Max from Altitude Sports for hooking me up with some gear. See you later.